must be a part of the new line shift. Don't tell me you lost your key card already. A lost card's worth two infractions, you know. Depends on what you got. But I reckon we can work something out. Pleasure doing business with you. You weren't never here and I didn't give you this card. We're fortified, Spirit. Do you think you're sneaking to? Production line is the bad away, you worthless gadabout. I'm darn well thinking about it. All right. That's one for shirking your duties and another for the smart mouth. Earned yourself two infractions. And you know what Slaughterhouse Clive does when an employee rocks up three. Now get back to work before I give you another. Do you think you might have forgotten something? Don't play coy. I know you were warned about wandering around once already. I'll pretend I believe you so long as you get back to work.
And just what do you figure you're doing up here? These are my private quarters, friend. I don't allow tours up here. I don't allow tours ever on deeper consideration. Certain things require a mess to do well. See, I was just killing some time. I prefer to prepare my dinner by my own hand. Nothing like fresh and bloody borstwurst. I do own a factory known for specializing in the canning of borstwurst. On occasion, I like to imbibe other parts of the sisty pig. Did you fancy me a cannibal? Perish the thought. No, I don't eat the bodies, I disappear. A joke, that last was. So, what can I do for you? My full attention is at your disposal. I kind of liked it when his attention was elsewhere. While I approve of your associate's cautious nature, I still teeter on the verge of losing my patience. Let us move forward with the present proceedings. By sublight, you mean Catherine, do you not? That greedy, star-crossed sow. Listen, friend. The Borst King of Monarch does not negotiate with coveters. How about you bring me Catherine's severed head, and I will gift you a lifetime supply of Borst. and I had hoped it might not come to this. This place smells worse than the back bays.
Hey, Cass. Knock, knock. Now there's a woman who knows what she wants. I like her. Please say the Yoda corpse you're wearing is Clive's. Huh. Not much boast to that declaration. Am I to take that to mean you didn't kill him? You ain't wrong. But I prefer a man of vice, myself. Still, this ought to compensate for your troubles. And take an aromatic. You stink like Sisty Pig. Might be I know something about it. Might be someone hired my crew to blind drop supplies on the Northern Bridge. Might be they sure as shit weren't pirates. Now that I consider it, I ain't heard from my delivery team in far too long. Find them for me, and I'll pay you handsomely. We are friends, but them who push me end up dead. Look, I don't know if this is related, but it ain't escaped my notice that one of my regulars been lingering a little too long at the gambling bar. She's been acting twitchy, even for her. Ask at the bar about a customer who shows up bi-weekly. My staff may know more. Funny you don't look like Nelson Mason. Funnier still, I wasn't aware of an existing problem. That thunderhead. Can't hardly fathom how that panned out. Let me guess, it involved blood and guts and fur in places that don't merit mention. Well, you got my begrudging gratitude for cleaning the mess.
I'll thank you to check your weapons at the door. My bit carts are fully loaded and ready to be spent. Bring on the recreation. For the price, I expected a larger cot. What are you looking at? if I may be so bold? Well now, here I thought those mantisaurs had peacefully exited the premises. But you're a simpler explanation. Thanks for the assistance. Name's Weston. Every once in a while, I set up shop along these here roads. You find yourself in need of resupply, you come on by. Care to purchase a thing or two? Thank you. 
must have been one ugly fight. Bunch of amateurs. Sublight should have seen this coming. Stay back. I may be wounded, but I'm still armed. How'd you get past my traps anyway? Hiding from the marauders that hit us, obviously. Now your turn. I assume you mean patch them up, not make them bigger. Okay, hold still or this is gonna hurt. That feels a mite better. Wish I had something to give you, but I gnawed through my last sprat worst an hour ago. Nice to know she cares. Catherine had us making drops for some big shot client out here. And before you ask, I don't know who they are. Or were. The whole point of making drops in the middle of nowhere was to keep their identity and whereabouts a secret. The Marauders knew we were coming. Rigged the bridge with explosives and everything. If they found us, my guess is they found the client too. Cave like this makes a handy place to store goods or hide out for a spell. And the traps usually keep gawkers out. Last I saw, they were heading back up the hill. You'll see it on the right when you get out of here. If you've got the sand to go after him, I'm sure Catherine can reward you for your trouble. Me? I'm headed back to Fallbrook, just as soon as I've caught my breath.
guard.
thank you again for retrieving the bolt. It's every bit as complex as I'd heard, but I'm up to the challenge. Anyway, what can I do for you? Excellent timing on your part. I worked my fingers to nubs, but I've finally completed the Bolt 52 form. I dare say it will be my second greatest achievement after the reformations. You're getting ahead of yourself again. So I am. Do you have this cartridge? I knew there was something going on. This is exactly the proof we need. The board will have to welcome us back now. I'll transmit this data along with the completed Bolt 52 right away. After that, we'll sit back and quietly wait for the board to respond. That means no more broadcasts from us. <laughs>